So the financial case to using a membrane filter instead of a falling film or a rising film evaporator, of course, has to do with the energy efficiency of the process. So this size system will use about nine and a half amps of power at 460 volts versus a comparable sized uh, falling film evaporator that might use 500, 540 amps. And just to put things into perspective, were you to filter 100,000 gallons, that's the difference between spending $740 to filter that on something like this versus a falling film evaporator that would cost you like $17,400. So over time, uh, this uh, device would pay itself just in energy savings alone.